advanced hydrogen um, quick video on how to um, magnetically align your plates for a uh, hydrogen cell. You can do this for any hydrogen cell that you're building. Um, it's going to happen to show you some 6x6 six six plates. I haven't drilled the holes. I just drew some uh, cheesy circles on here that represent the holes. And a matter of fact, uh, I didn't even peel the, the plastic off these yet. So in reality, this is not the time to be shocking these plates. But I just don't happen to have some plates that are prepped right now. Um, all my cells are all put together and I've kind of been being lazy and haven't really made any uh, plates yet. So anyways, uh, I'm going to tell you how to do it. Okay, how to magnetically align the plates so that when you use them inside the electrolyzer, the molecules line up. This is 316 stainless and I'm using here non-magnetic. But uh, we're going to induce a current around it and we're going to line up the molecules on the plates. What you want to do, the first thing you want to do is, uh, obviously you want to drill the plates, you want to make all your cuts, you want to do all your prep work first, uh, sand the plates, you know, whatever you got to do, uh, dip mur muriatic acid, I'm talking, I do everything up to this point, because I set up my plates, so the two outside ones are the ones that I put up against uh, the gasket that goes on my outer plates, if you watch my other videos, you know how I build my uh, dry cells. Uh, so it doesn't really matter on this side and this side if I touch them. But once I've prepped the plates, obviously I don't want to touch in here. But here's here's what you got to do. So I got number one, and then I have like number two, and number three. See, I got the, the the numbered. Okay, these are the these plates. When I put the dry cell together, it's either this way or this way. It really doesn't matter. Um, you want to make sure that these plates stack back up exactly like they're numbered. Okay, I'll show you why in a minute. The other thing you got to do is kind of weird is you got to get a compass and uh, I'll hold this so you can see this okay you got your compass and you need to find yourself a bench somewhere and mark your north south you know uh, west and east and uh, you're going to take your battery and make sure your battery is fully charged which this one is and this is a low amp battery uh, which is plenty good um, I got the positive plate here and the negative plate here I have a clip on the negative plate and I have a uh, wire coming off of it, very thin wire. And on the end of the wire, I have a nut attached to the wire. And I'll show you why that's that way in a second. Anyways, you want to take this uh, battery and you want to align it so that the positive goes to the west. Okay. And what that does, it puts it in a uh, magnetic neutral in relation to the, the magnetic um, pull of the earth. You know, the earth is like a bar magnet where it has a north and a south. Okay, So you set your battery so that the positive points to west. And then when you do your plates, um, you're going to have the top of the plate up just like it sits in your cell. And you're going you know, to you either hold it straight up like this or if you want to get real technical, you can lay it like this and point the top of the plates to the north. But uh, from my understanding, since you're in a magnetic neutral, the way the battery is sitting right now, that you probably don't have to do that. You can just have it straight up and down. I kind of angle it. I go in between, or sometimes I will lay it like this, but I really haven't seen a difference in the MMW production. But uh, I'll show you how to wind these things. Let me get this set back up here. A uh, little tripod. I got a little mini tripod attached to my camera. All right, you're going to take the... You're going to take the plates, have them stacked up like you're supposed to have them, okay? And then you're going to take the wire, and from the negative on the bottom, okay, grab, give yourself a little extra lead off of that. From the bottom of the plate, because the plates sit like this, see? Okay? You're going to take this wire, and you're going to wrap it clockwise four to seven wraps, okay? Uh, and, you know, at least four, seven, I've heard 11, you know, whatever you want to do. And this wire is just some real thin wire that I have laying around. And uh, you can use a uh, heavy gauge uh, wire that has the enamel on the outside if you want. But this just happens to have an insulator on it. Get the wire so it doesn't overlap. It's a real good, clean wrap. See that? The top up north, okay? The top's north. The bottom right here, if you look down the plate, you see if you follow the wraps of the wire, they go counterclockwise. If you look down, that's how you know you did it right. Okay, 
So you pull over here and hook it up. Hook this on the negative plate. Okay. Now, the next thing you want to do is, is uh, other than adjust your camera, is that you want to get some welding gloves on. This wire is going to get super hot. So you're going to want to, you're going to have, want to have welding gloves. This wire will burn into your skin. I mean, I've already gotten burned. It burned into my skin at least an eighth of an inch. It was ugly. So I got a welding glove on. Matter of fact, put two welding gloves on or some thick leather gloves, okay? In case this wire gets super, super hot, and it will too. You're going to watch how slinky this wire is after I do this, okay? You're going to wrap the positive post with this nut on the end of the top of the wire. I'm pointing the plates to the north. See it? I'm going to hit like about four or five times. Or more. <laughs> I, hit, I just hit it until I feel like stopping. Okay, now you got to be careful because this, this wire is hot. As a matter of fact, I'm touching this wire. It's, it's really, really hot just from those little wraps that I did. And the wire gets real slinky after that. Real limp. Okay. So there you go. I've just magnetically aligned these plates. Another way to do it is to put a uh, automotive light bulb in series with the wire and you can lay it on there and let it run for about a minute or two. But uh, this seems to work pretty good. So that's how you magnetically align plates uh, for your dry cell. So there it is. Wasn't very hard to do. Vance Hydrogen. You guys have a good day.